What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Cardiff City post-match analysis video. Let me know what did you think of the game and uh, where will Liverpool finish this season in the Premier League. But my condolences and thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected about the Leicester City helicopter crash, which is a horrendous news that I read this morning. I was out with my girlfriend at the theatre last night, so pictures uh, are horrific and and I really hope that everyone is okay. We, there is no confirmation yet of who was in the helicopter. It's a horrible tragedy and I, I really, really hope that there were as few people in the helicopter crash as uh, possible involved because it just looks horrendous and uh, football is uh, irrelevant uh, when things like this happen. So my thoughts go out to everyone. And Liverpool really needed to win this game in my opinion because, uh, you know, the other top teams going as well as they are it's incredible I have never seen a Premier League start with five teams getting so many points in the first nine rounds of fixtures but you know Tottenham will play Manchester City uh, both Chelsea and Arsenal have difficult away games and Man United are playing Everton today so it was vital for Liverpool to get maximum points against Cardiff and we did it in style even though in the 84th minute it was 2-1 which was a scoreline that I don't think Cardiff deserved because Cardiff just had one shot on target two shots in total for the whole game for Cardiff City and they had like 20% possession Cardiff City, Liverpool had like 80% possession, 19 shots, only 7 on target but Liverpool scored 4 of them and Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane are back to their best and this is what I was hoping for that with these run of games we played Huddersfield and then Red Star Belgrade and Cardiff City Finally Liverpool came up against teams where Liverpool could rack up the goals and that's exactly what happened. We scored four against Red Star, we scored four against Cardiff. Even though I think uh, you know Cardiff defended very resolutely and Liverpool were unlucky not to score more. Van Dijk hits the post, uh, Mohamed Salah opened the scoring after um, you know brilliant build-up play by Liverpool and then um, Sadio Mane made it too near and I was so impressed with Sharon Shakiri who came on as a substitute. Shakiri didn't start because he played uh, two 90-minute games for Liverpool, two 90-minute games for Switzerland and then uh, you know he came on as a substitute and scored today after a brilliant like a shimmy body fade drop of the shoulder from Sharon Shakiri. He's such a clean clever player really love how he plays and Mohamed Salah scoring one goal getting two assists he is back to his best Salah he scored two goals uh, in two games now after not scoring in six games Sadio Mane not scoring in seven games now he has three goals in two games so Mane looks like he's back in top form and boy do we need them because we will play Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium in the next picture and I also enjoyed Sadio Mane's goal where he had a couple of uh, you know ricochets where he looks like he almost loses the ball, almost loses the ball but uh, he wriggles his way past the whole Cardiff City backline and then he smashes it such a really ferocious powerful shot into the far corner the go Cardiff goalkeeper didn't have time to react and then the devastating counter attack you know in the 86th minute where Salah and Mane combine and Mane chips the goalkeeper to make it 4-1 Liverpool that was magnificent and this leaves Liverpool with 26 points from 10 games and now it's only 10 games but after 10 games you can and really judge uh, the table because that's like the first part of the first half of the season. Liverpool already played Tottenham and Chelsea away from home. We played Manchester City at home. The other, te te the other top teams, I don't think they had as tough a run of fixture as Liverpool. They are still behind Liverpool. So I think this really bodes well. If Liverpool keep up this incredible run of form, which I don't think is possible, but if we do, I calculated the points, Liverpool will get 99 points at the end of the season and that's what is required because Man City got 100 points last season and they look, they look as strong this season as they, as they look last season. 
My hope is that Tottenham either beats or draws against Manchester City so Liverpool can open up a little bit of a gap and I think the Arsenal-Liverpool game is crucial because if Liverpool get a result there, if Liverpool win against Arsenal at the Emirates that would make such a big confidence boost and the momentum will be with Liverpool even more than it is now. This is honestly the best Liverpool team in the tw past 20 years. Dare I say it might be the best Liverpool team since Liverpool last, uh, last won the Premier League title. And that is huge, but also it's a kind of a little bit of a bad coincidence that as good as this Liverpool team is, we have an incredible Manchester City team who might be one of the best teams in the whole Premier League era of the past like 25-26 uh, years. So I think for Liverpool to win the Premier League title, we almost need to have the perfect season. And we are having almost the perfect season so far. Even one or two bad results, Liverpool could lose the title because of that. That's how good the Manchester City team is. You just can't really make any mistakes in this Premier League title race, it seems. But so far, so good for Liverpool. I'm really impressed. I was especially impressed with uh, not just the, you know, the front players, uh, Mane, Salah and even Firmino worked tirelessly, but Fabinho and Wijnaldum were terrific in the middle of the park and I'm just so happy for Fabinho. He was, you know, not played by Jurgen Klopp in the first like two or three months of the season because Jurgen Klopp wanted Fabinho to get accustomed to a different uh, way of playing, different tactics, different midfield role. But now Fabinho starting two games in a row, he really is excelling. He is the holding midfielder that Liverpool have been, you know, looking out for for the past like five or six years and even though Fabinho costs like 40 million I think he is well worth the money so let me know what did you think of the game what did you think of Liverpool's performance where will Liverpool finish in the Premier League season I would love to hear your thoughts and the career mode video is coming later today so stay tuned thanks for watching see you later guys Good night.